How to connect the vertical phone's image? Connect to Atom Mini Pro for vertical live streaming. If you're using a USB-C hub, it will look like this. The phone's screen connected to the Atom Mini Pro will have black bars on the sides and won't display in full screen vertical. What you should want is for it to look like this. The vertical image displayed on the Atom Mini Pro in vertical. But you will notice there are still slight black blank on the sides. Why is that? Because of the aspect ratio of our current phone. It's no longer 16 to 9. Its ratio is 20 to 9. When fitting it to a 16 to 9 screen, you definitely have to add black bars here. Is there a way to cut down this little bit of black blank? Just like this. When I cut off the black bars on the sides, I also need to maintain the correct font ratio. I inevitably have to cut off the top and the bottom as well. So you can see the time here. It's been cut off. It's all gone. This is called the crop mode. Another mode is, I want to keep all the images without cropping. Then it must. It will affect the font's proportions. You can also see this time on the phone. It can be displayed, but look at this ratio. The font's proportions will become thicker. So you need to connect the phone's vertical screen image. Connect to Atom Mini Pro. To do vertical live streaming, there are three modes. The first one is the normal mode. The second type is the fill mode. The fill mode will make it look wider. The third type is the crop mode. It will crop the perspective. To achieve the correct aspect ratio, how do we connect the vertical image from the phone and connect it to the Atom Mini Pro for vertical display? There are two methods. The first method, you use this USB-C hub. This way, when you connect it, display black bars on the sides. I will send this HDMI image, throw it into this UVC HDMI dual mode converter. For the mobile projection version, this converter rotates the HDMI image 90 degrees. Then it crops the black bars on the sides. It also corrects the slight black bars at the top and bottom. So it achieves those three things. The first is standard mode. The second is crop mode. The third is fill mode. Now, doing this will have one issue. That is, because we only really use this part. The rest is all wasted. So you achieve it this way. Vertical full screen. Its picture quality is going to be very poor. Now the other type, I'm using this phone from my company, Smartphone Vertical Mode Mirror Adapter. When I connect this phone to the vertical full screen projector for phones, it already displays on the TV in full screen. When going through this UVC HDMI dual mode converter, I just need to cut off the black bars on the top and bottom. That should be enough. So the resolution achieved this way. The image quality will be very beautiful. First, let's introduce how to use this USB-C hub to achieve it. Then we'll also use this mobile projector method to implement it. Let's compare to see which image quality is better. Of course, this one will be better. First, we connect the USB-C hub to the phone. Pull out the HDMI. Connect it to this UVC HDMI dual mode converter. For the mobile projection version, I am connecting to input B. This converter, it needs to be connected to a power source here. Because I'm inputting B, so I need to press B. Then I'll connect the HDMI output to the Atom Mini Pro. I'll connect it to channel 2 on the Atom Mini Pro. Okay, I'll set it to full screen. At this point, I need to address the issues on both sides. The parameter settings area, I'll connect it to my computer. Connect the USB to the computer. First, open your browser. Then enter. This is the backend settings. Please note that there is a section called Mixer here. There is a video rotation option. Input B, I'll select vertical degrees. At this moment, the TV screen will display at vertical mode. The Atom Mini Pro shows a vertical image. No problem. I'm going to crop this out now. I'm starting with the crop mode. Crop mode. You just select the HDMI option here. Then choose a crop option here. Confirm it. Let's go back to the mixer. 
Here, set input B to 100. All right, after setting it, the screen is already up. No problem. Look, this screen is in crop mode. The time here has been cut off. And the phone here has also been removed. Here, the advantage of the cropping mode is that it maintains the correct font ratio. It hasn't changed, but the cost is that it crops the top and bottom. And the entire view will be reduced. The time here is gone. The bottom here is missing. Next, we will introduce the fill mode. Select fill for HDMI. Let's go back to this mister. This also needs to be set to 90 degrees. And then there's input B. I'm currently using input B. So this needs to be changed. The approximate value is 720. 720. All right, at this point, let's take a look at the TV. Its perspective hasn't been cut off. You can see the time. This part hasn't been cut off either. And this area is also fully displayed. But look at this font. The font has become bolder. This mode is more suitable for displaying web pages. Regardless of the previous cropping mode or the current view mode, you see its true resolution, its font, you know, the font really doesn't look good because its resolution has been completely sacrificed. So the font here, when you look at it up close, you might notice a bit of a pixelation issue. Everyone must be quite puzzled, wondering what to do about those parameter numbers. Actually, when we ship, I will provide you with a document. This document will explain everything to everyone. It will indicate the approximate parameters for this area. The first one was the cropping mode. This will tell you, you would roughly fill it with 100. This is the fill mode. So the value is about here. Now this number is just an approximate value. You can base your adjustments on this number, then make slight modifications. Right now, we are using a USB-C hub. We are using HDMI output for this image processing. The image quality isn't very good because the actual footage we used is really too limited. About two thirds of the screen will be cut off. Right now, we are using a vertical full screen projector for mobile phones. The picture quality will be excellent. First, let's power it on. Let's connect it to the TV first. When you connect to the TV, this screen will appear. When you see this screen, it means that this device is working successfully. Now we just need to connect the phone's screen to this converter. This converter has a USB interface. Let's connect the USB-C cable. Just plug it in. At this point, the projection icon will appear. Press it. This is already showing a vertical projection. It just has black bars on the top and the bottom. I will use this device shortly to remove the black bars. If you think the screen is fine, then just use it as is. No need for it to be adjusted. I'll first connect the projector's display to this converter. It has successfully connected to the Atom Mini Pro. We need to set the parameters on this computer. Let's go to the HDMI section first. First, we will switch to crop mode. Make sure to check the mix section. Because this display is already in portrait mode. So I don't need to rotate it here. If you rotate it, something funny will happen. Just like this. It will turn out like this. So I don't need to rotate it anymore. Like this. And this area here. We need to crop out the black edges at the top and the bottom. So what should the value be? It should be around the 100. After you press it, you'll see it's cut. Just like that, see? This time has been cut out. This phone's icon has already been cut in half. This ensures your text's proportions are correct. What you sacrifice is the perspective of your image. This cropping mode is more suitable for your phone. Think of it as a camera. 
You see, I'm using my Android phone now. Treat it like a beauty camera. Look at the image it presents. There are no black edges at all. And the proportions are correct. It didn't make my face particularly long, nor did it make it particularly flat. Next, I want to set it to fill mode. First, go to the HDMI menu. Set it to fill. Then in this blending area, select 0 degrees here. Fill in 100 here. That should do it. At this point, look. What you see is already in fill mode. Look at this font here. It looks a bit bolder here. Look at this original phone. There is time here. And then on the TV here, the displayed time hasn't been cut off. But the font will get bolder. This fill mode is more suitable for viewing web pages. For example, if you're live streaming in portrait mode, like on Facebook, using this fill mode is quite appropriate. Let's summarize. There are two ways to connect a phone to HDMI. One is using a USB-C hub for HDMI output, but the output from this method has black bars on the sides, and you used real footage. It's less than one third of the full resolution. It's very poor. There's another type. It's a vertical full screen projector for phones. This is already projected in portrait mode. Then process to a UVC HDMI dual mode converter. It just trims a little bit of the black edges on the sides. It becomes what's called fill mode. And these two modes, fill and crop. But if you can already accept it, if it's in normal mode, actually, this phone can just be a full projector. So there's no need for any more post-production image processing.